This is a story of Ivan the Terrible, as read by Marco S. Dacio. The 17-year-old boy crowned Tsar of Russia in 1547 was called Ivan Grozny, Ivan the Awesome. But he has come to us through history as Ivan the Terrible. Orphaned as a boy, Ivan was abused and beaten by the relatives who hoarded the power of Russia's empty throne. Cruelty bred cruelty. He dropped dogs from castle towers and galloped his charger into crowds. He liked to introduce political prisoners to his hounds. He was really terrible, but also smart. In 1547, Ivan put down a mutiny and finally won the crown of Russia. For a time, he stopped being terrible. He married Anastasia, fathered six children, and was a wise, reforming ruler. But in 1553, an illness as terrible as Ivan nearly killed him. I am a dead man. Swear allegiance to my son, Dmitri. Alas, Excellency. Prince Dmitri is dead. The recuperating Tsar brooded in seclusion, as if waiting for further calamity. Excellence, Anastasia, she, 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 my Anastasia is dead. Ivan became terrible again. He had screaming fits and awful dreams of poisoning and impalement. Enraged, he stabbed his favorite son to death. Failure to tip your hat to the Tsar could have serious consequences. Something wrong, Sir Ambassador. His power was absolute. Those he didn't like, he killed. Some said his fits and rages were madness. Others thought syphilis might be at work here. I have a dream. In 1565, Ivan divided his kingdom one part called the Aprichnia came under his absolute control. My absolute control. He sent hundreds of secret police, the Aprichniki, to crush dissent. A new world order. Informers were everywhere. People began to disappear. Aya, Aya, God help us. His siege of Novgorod killed 30,000 people brutally. Many of those who survived Ivan died of starvation. When he tired of killing his subjects, he turned on his followers. He had them flayed and boiled for imagined sins. He was awe-inspiring, terrible, that is, to the death, which claimed him in 1584. But to his credit, he paid for prayers for a few thousand of his many victims. Nobody is all terrible, 